En unos segundos vas a escuchar una conversación entera en inglés entre mi amigo Shemar y yo, en donde vamos a practicar tu inglés algo enormemente. ¿Por qué? Shemar es de Inglaterra y tiene un acento muy, muy particular. Entonces vas a tener que prestar mucha atención aquí a través de este video para entender. Además, Shemar tiene una historia muy interesante. Nació en Newcastle, en Inglaterra. Muy joven se mudó a España, donde empezó a hacer negocios de propiedades. Luego se mudó a Dubai, donde ha vivido durante un largo periodo de tiempo y ahora se está radicando en México. Medellín, Colombia, somos amigos, entrenamos en el mismo gimnasio y es un personaje de quien podemos aprender muchas cosas además del inglés. A medida que pase la conversación voy a hacer pausas y explicar muchas cosas del inglés que estamos usando en la conversación. Gramática, palabras, expresiones. Así que lo único que tienes que hacer es sit back, relax and enjoy. Relájate y disfruta la conversación. No te preocupes si es un poco difícil entender la conversación, yo entiendo. Por eso tienes la opción de colocar subtítulos, tanto en inglés como en español, como tú prefieras. Pero si entiendes más o menos ya de la conversación sin subtítulos, mi consejo es desafíate un poco sin subtítulos. Y si hay algunas partes que no entiendes bien, rebobina, coloca subtítulos y vuelve a ver esa parte. Pero esa decisión es tuya. Espero que te vaya a gustar este video. Por favor, si te gusta, no olvides regalarme un like y suscríbete aquí al canal para que no pierdas futuros videos y para que me ayudes a mí en mi trabajo hacia mi visión de un Latinoamérica donde no hay una sola persona que no hable inglés. Yo soy Kale Anders, tu coach de inglés y tu sueco favorito. Empecemos. You had acting in school? Yeah, yeah, like just normal school, you know, like, mm. um, I don't, we call it secondary. What do you guys call it? Yeah, same. Same, yeah, same. Yeah, I loved it, man. It was good fun. I think it was good fun. Good fun is una expresión en inglés que significa muy divertido. It was good fun. Estuvo muy divertido. Yeah, I loved it, man. It was good fun. I wish I t actually took it, but back then, like, it's not a real job. It's not. No. Yeah, but it, it's, 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 it's like being a football player. It's yeah, like, it's like the, the, the likelihood that you're going to succeed is, like is, is very small. Yeah. And if you, but if you do succeed, you it's can, you know. Crazy. It's crazy. Them football players in the UK get a lot of money, man. Me encanta su inglés británico. Them football players. Eso realmente es gramaticalmente incorrecto. Se dice those football players o the football players. Pero bueno, los acentos. Them football players in the UK get a lot of money, man. Yeah. A lot of money. But, yeah. But a lot, a lot, I've seen a lot of guys my age who are really good, talented, mate, but... Mate se dice todo el tiempo en Inglaterra. Amigo, parcero. Mientras en Estados Unidos es más común usar dude, bro, man, my man, my bro, brother, etc. We're really good, talented, mate, but they start getting paid off these clubs a little bit and then they, yeah. go, they go mess it up. They go, you know, do drugs, they chase the girls. Exactly. And then, yeah. So many, so many... How old are you? I'm 23 now, yeah. 23? Yeah, I'm young, mate. Oh, oh you're young as hell. Yeah, I was <laughs> 28. Ah, okay, right. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Bloody hell, mate. Bloody hell. <laughs> me encanta. Me encanta como habla. Bloody hell. Es una, no quiero decir grosería, pero así algo por el estilo, pero muy británico. Bloody hell. Miércoles. Tal vez. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Bloody hell, mate. Everyone thinks I look old here. I don't know why. It's, it's, you look like 30 or 22, bro. <laughs> Una de las diferencias entre el acento británico y el acento americano, el acento global, por así decirlo, está en las R's. En americano decimos 30, 30, 30. En Inglaterra dicen 30, 30. O si hablan muy rápido, simplemente dicen 30, 30. 30, 30. It's, it's, you look like 30 or 22, bro. <laughs> It's like, you, you, you can't tell. You can't tell with the Latinos either. No, you can't, bro. You can't. Otra diferencia. Inglés americano, can't. Can not. No puede. Inglés británico, can't. Can't, can't. You can't tell with the Latinos either. No, you can't, bro. You can't. I've got a girl, she's 38, mate. 38. She's 38. I do like, I love the older girls. I yeah. love the MILF. She's a MILF. But, uh, <laughs> Um, 38, and she looks like amazing. Her skin's better than mine. Like, yeah. they're crazy. I don't know if it's the, the diet, the weather, or what. Yeah. It's amazing, man. She knows you're 23? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Just... She likes younger guys, yeah, too. That's it. <laughs> that's it, mate. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. uh, nice. Oh, Jesus. Ay, Jesus. Ay, Dios. En inglés podemos decir, oh, my God. Pero también, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. uh, nice. Dude, thank you so much for coming and, and participating in this conversation. Thanks for having me, mate. I really, uh, really appreciate it. When, yeah. when did you arrive to Medellin? Medellin, um, about about five months of, um, ago. But I came like, I, I went to England for six months before that, and then I came five months again. I came for a weekend to meet a friend. Yeah. I came and I fell in love with it. He went home after two days. I said, look, mate, I'm staying. Oh, really? And that's it. I, I overstayed my visa. I got, <laughs> I got into fights. Yeah. All that. I love it. I love it. It's <laughs> worth it. But you came from Dubai. Dubai, yeah, I came from Dubai. So oh. at first, you, you, where are you from in the UK? 
I'm from a little place called Stockton on Tees. Um, it's very close to like Newcastle. Yeah. Where you probably know the football team. Yeah. Um, small town, small town mentality, you know, middle of nowhere kind of thing, yeah. farmers, things yeah. like that. Small town mentality. La mentalidad de pueblo. Él es de un pueblo chiquito afuera de una ciudad que se llama Newcastle, en Inglaterra. Se sentía un poquito limitado y por eso desde una edad temprana quería salir de ahí y descubrir el mundo. Small town, small town mentality, you know, middle of nowhere kind of thing, yeah. farmers, things yeah. like that. Um, I left, I left the UK when I was about 18 year old. I left. Left es el pasado del verbo leave, irse. Entonces, I leave, me voy. I left, me fui. I left, I left the UK when I was about 18 year old. Um, crazy story. I don't want to turn it into a motivational podcast, you know, but... No, tell us. Yeah. Um, I, I had a business. I was, a, I was a trader. Alguien que es un trader de profesión compra y vende, por ejemplo, acciones, criptomonedas y cosas así por el estilo. Tratando de comprar barato y vender caro y así ganarse la diferencia. Simplemente explicado. No sé mucho realmente de esa industria, pero suena cool. I had a business. I was a, I was a trader. I used to trade. Yeah. Um, and I raised like 200k from a local town. Yeah. And I was I was absolutely amazing at raising capital, but absolutely terrible at trading. Mm. So yeah. I lost all the money trading gold. So I, I had to I basically had to leave the town. I left the town. I went to Spain. I had like 200 euros. I was like a bit homeless and whatnot. I was a bit homeless and whatnot. And whatnot realmente no significa nada. Es simplemente un relleno de la oración para decir entre otras cosas. I was like a bit homeless and whatnot. Wow. And then I just worked my way up, man. I got myself to Dubai, built my network up, and then, yeah, just, and I know I'm here, mate. Yeah, I'm still on the journey. I'm still enjoying it. Bro. What do you do? What do you do? A que te dedicas? Or más rápido, what do you do? Enjoying it, bro. What do you do? So now I've, I've got a lead generation company. Um, I generate motivated sell leads. Um, I'm launching a coffee brand here. That's yeah. I'm here as well. And I've got an investment fund. And we build villas in Spain. We've got a project on right now. And we're building 36 villas on the Mijas Golf Course. Brand new luxury. Where is that? Um, in Marbella. Marbella. Yeah, Costa de Sol. Yeah. Um, and we've got a few other projects there as well. Um, we've got, I've just landed a project with the Marriott Hotel. We're building in the UK as well. So I'm just raising capital. Yeah. Get into property. I like property, man. It's fixed. There's no headache. Yeah. You know. Otra diferencia entre los acentos está en las T's. En inglés americano decimos property. Escuchas como la T... Es muy sutil, casi como una D, property. Mientras, en inglés de Inglaterra, dicen property, property, property. Suena un poquito más clasudo, pero bueno. I like property, man. It's fixed. There's no headache. Yeah. You know, you've always been told since you're a kid, get into property. You know, yeah. It doesn't doesn't fluctuate too much. Yeah. So it's good, man. It's good. Yeah, it's, it's a secure secure thing. Like, it's That's a sure it. thing. I mean, I like to put, if I, like my, the, the, the investments that I make is yeah. like, you know, I put my money in treasury bonds. And in properties. And in properties. No, nothing, property. nothing else, literally. Just, yeah. That's it. Just to keep it simple, basically. Keep it simple, mate. In the world today of, you know, stocks, Forex, this, that, it's, yeah. it's it's so easy, man. We've all lost money in crypto. We've all done this st stupid stuff. You yeah. Know? I've so. lost so much money in <laughs> crypto. Oh. The, the little pump coins. Dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so much. Oh, mate. Oh, it's embarrassing. You start with, bro. Kale <laughs> coin. Kale coin. Yeah. No, definitely not. Oh, no, that's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So, you... You went from the UK, you went to Spain, yeah, and then you moved to Dubai. For how long were you in Dubai? About a year and a half, two years, I'd probably say. Yeah, yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, What's it, was it like living in Dubai? It's it's amazing. It's it's all flash. It's it's awesome, but it's it's really false, man. And I don't want to you know slag it off, kind of. Thing. Yeah, I don't want to slug it off. El dice, no quiero despreciar Dubai, pero siento que es un poquito falso. I don't want to you know slag it off, kind of. Thing. Yeah, it's really good. Um, but it's a it's a. It's not as genuine. The people are not as genuine. Not as genuine. Not as genuine. Everyone's a bit on the back foot when you meet people. Everyone's trying to like, oh, how can I get money out of you, mate? Mm. Business is a bit stuck up. It's it's not it's not very real. Cuando algo es stuck up, es un poco rígido. Es un poquito frío. Entonces dice que los negocios en Dubai son muy rígidos. La gente es muy rígida. Business is a bit stuck up. It's it's not it's not very real. And even like you you want to go to the shop, mate. You know, and just buy a bit of. A bit of stuff from the supermarket. You got to put your Rolex on, your Prada bag. Uh, you know, it's just a bit. Yeah, and the, and the girls there. The, you, you'll never find a normal girl there, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, what are girls like say there? Less, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and that's, that was the reason you decided to travel, or like, or you you hadn't planned. You had planned to stay there. 
Um, no, I just stayed there because I thought it's, it's going to be the best opportunity for me to meet high net worth individuals. Yeah, it's, it's going to be the best opportunity for me to meet high net worth individuals. High net worth individuals son personas con muchísimo patrimonio. Porque en su negocio él está buscando inversionistas para sus proyectos de bienes raíces. It's going to be the best opportunity for me to meet high net worth individuals and yeah. just get myself in them circles, you know? Yeah. So that's what I did, man. I just, I just grinded and got myself into some, some good circles. Yeah. 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 And how... And then you just flew to Colombia because you had a friend and you, yeah. here and you were going to stay for a weekend. Yeah, a weekend, man. A weekend. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a bit of a crazy friend as well. Um, yeah. And so I said, look, I'll, I'll go see him. I'm in Dubai. I'm a bit lonely, man. I'll just get, get myself over there. Yeah. So I flew, man. It was, it was ages. It was like two days or something, bro. Yeah. It's so long. Yeah. And I got here, man. I smelled the air. I was like, bro, it's so fresh here. Yeah. Just, it's just beautiful. I was in the taxi, just like some reggaeton. I didn't, I didn't even know what reggaeton was then. Oh, Did really? I, yeah, bro. Yeah. Never heard it before. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I was like, oh, you know what, mate? I actually love this place. Yeah. I love it. I don't speak Spanish, so I was like, you need to learn Spanish. Yeah. So now I'm just trying to learn the Spanish, and yeah, I think I'm going to buy a course. Yeah, you should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should. What, what was, um, what's been the, the things that you've liked the most about Latin America? Latin America. All right. You've been to Colombia. Have you been to any other countries in Latin America? Have you been to any other countries in Latin America? Have you been? Has estado. O realmente quiero decir has ido. Pero literalmente traducido. Have you been? Has estado. All right. You've been to Colombia. Have you been to any other countries in Latin America? I just I, is in Mexico. Yeah. yeah. I went to Mexico about three weeks ago. Okay. But that was very like I think it's very westernized there. I went to Tulum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it was completely different. But yeah, Tulum is basically like. It, it, you, you, will, you will see very few Mexicans there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, more, he's more Americans, to be honest. Yeah. Um, Latin America, do you know what? I don't know what it is. It feels like, obviously, I, I'm born, I was born in 1999. I was born in 1999. Así decimos los años en inglés. 1999. Está separando 19, 19 y 99. 99, 1999. I was born in 1994. I was born in 1999, but like for me, it feels like the 2000s or the 80s vibe. It's cool. Like you wake up, everybody's on the gym vibe, everyone's yeah. good, mate, everyone's in fitness, health. Everyone's like, what, what are you doing tonight, mate? Let's go. Yeah. Where England, it's very different, man. People are very, like, oh, stuck up and very, like, yeah. people sit in the houses and just exactly. talk about each other yeah. kind of thing. I, I don't, was it the same in Sweden? Absolutely. Yeah. It's especially because in Sweden, you know, it's cold. Eight months of the same, 12. Bro. England, yeah. So what else are you going to do but sit home and just do like nothing? Off. Yeah, you do nothing. Yeah. You do nothing, mate. I love Sweden. I love going back to my country. Like, but during the summer, yeah, when people are outside, yeah, yeah, when the sun's up, yeah, right. Um, but the winter months, yeah. hell no. It's mate, you never see sun in the UK, mate. Like, no. especially where I'm from, it's very cold. It's clouds all day. You wake up, you're depressed, mate. It's just like Jesus. But you have a good football team. If we do, do you know what? I'm the only guy in the UK who just doesn't watch football. The UK, the United Kingdom, el Reino Unido. Así se refiere típicamente a ese país, the UK. Si te gusta el fútbol, probablemente has escuchado el nombre England. England es parte del Reino Unido, que es un país entero, con varias diferentes partes. Pero en el fútbol, Reino Unido no tiene un equipo. Tiene un equipo por cada una de esas zonas, porque el fútbol realmente originó en Reino Unido. If we do, do you know what? I'm the only guy in the UK who just doesn't watch football. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only guy, but I just never been into it, man. I don't know. Why not? Just always been busy, mate. Just, yeah. just staying busy working, bro. Yeah. yeah, just never really had time. Same with games and stuff, mate. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Never, never really, never really been into them much, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's good. It's good though. Yeah. Man. Yeah. You keep busy and you don't have that much, that many distractions. That's it. I try to keep it just focused, streamlined. Yeah. I try to keep it focused, streamlined. Trato de mantenerme enfocado y coordinado. I try to keep it just focused, streamlined. Yeah. Like even with my friends, man. I, I, like you see me in the gym, man. I've got two phones. I'm texting, texting, yeah, yeah, yeah. texting. Um, I, I don't really go out and party much. I don't really do, do all that stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. Party. Inglés americano, party. Inglés británico, party. O party. Sin ni siquiera pronunciar la T. Um, I, I don't really go out and party much. I don't really do, do all that stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. I've got business partners who are a lot older than me, and they're like, yeah, we just, I go out with them, like my brothers, you know? It's like, yeah. it's, I like that, I like that. Yeah. Because you, you know they got your back, man, you know? Yeah. They got your back. Ellos tienen tu espalda. Pero quiere decir que están ahí por ti. Because you know they've got your back, man, you know? Yeah, exactly. But people here, when the bill comes, they're like, everyone's a bit funny. Yeah, yeah. it's like, yo, bro, I'll pay you after, or yeah. I got money covered from... No, it's, oh, Jesus. Uh, it's one of the, the, you know, there are pros and cons to living in any place, right? Of course, and man. One of those things, one of those bad things about, you know, here, it's, it's, that, it's those sort of things, right? Yeah, yeah. And the people aren't as punctual, and, you know, you can't really, you know, 
the, 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 there isn't just as much trust, basically. There is, yeah, there isn't, mate. But, um, yeah. I mean, just a few things that are bad about living here, no? Yeah, of course, mate. The, the pros okay, okay, outweigh the, um, the cons, for sure. The pros outweigh the cons. Si lo traduce literalmente significa los positivos pesan más que los negativos. Pero quiere decir que hay más cosas positivas que negativas. Convivir en Latinoamérica, en nuestra opinión. There are pros and cons to living in any place, right? Of course, and man. One of those things, one of those bad things about, you know, here is, is that, is those sort of things, right? Yeah, yeah. And the people aren't as punctual and, you know, you can't really, you know, the, 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 there isn't just as much trust, basically. There is, yeah, there isn't, mate. But, um, yeah. I mean, just a few things that are bad about living here, no? Yeah, of course, mate. The the pros okay, okay, outweigh the, um, the cons for sure. But I, I've seen a lot of people come down here, man, and um, come on holiday, you know, chase girls, blow their money. And yeah. Can't even afford a ticket back home, mate. Yeah. Lots of people blow their money. Gastan su dinero, mucha gente. But I, I've seen a lot of people come down here, man, and um, come on holiday, you know, chase girls, blow their money. And yeah. Can't even afford a ticket back home, mate. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. But you found yourself a girlfriend in these five months. Yeah, crazy, mate. Yeah. Crazy, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <bro. laughs> How did you guys meet? I wasn't even looking for a girl. Um, I was I was working one day, my friend, my, my, one of my business partners was like, mate, let's go to this La Solar. La Solar, un evento, una fiesta aquí en, en Medellín, conocida. I was I was working one day, my friend, my, my, one of my business partners was like, mate, let's go to this La Solar. Like, uh, he's a bit of a party. He's like, I said, I don't know, mate, it's not really, it's not really me, bro. Yeah. He said, okay, you may just come, you, you don't really do much. <laughs> so he went back to, um, he took me to his, like, the friend's house for pre-drinks first. Yeah. Pre-drinks. Pre-copa. Normalmente en Europa, desde que empezamos a tomar cerveza, siempre hacíamos pre-copas. Pre-drinks. ¿Por qué? Porque está extremadamente costoso comprar cócteles en los bares y discotecas en nuestros países. Entonces, cuando éramos un poquito más jóvenes, nos juntábamos en casa de alguien, tomábamos muchísimo y luego salimos para no tener que gastar en los bares y discotecas en la ciudad. Good times. <laughs> Buenos tiempos. Like the friend's house for pre drinks first. Yeah. And um, she was a friend of him, my, my friend Sergio. Um, and she was there. Uh, and I just knew straight away, you get a weird feeling. I was like, that's going to be, that's, that's my bird, mate. Mm. We call them birds in the UK. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I, was like, I was like, that's my bird, mate. I, I, I just know I get a weird feeling when I know it's going to be my bird. I don't know why. My bird, mi chica. En Inglaterra dicen eso, mi pájaro. Pero significa mi chica. That's going to be, that's, that's my bird, mate. Mm. We call them birds in the UK. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I was like, I was like, that's my bird, mate. I, I, I just know I get a weird feeling when I know it's gonna be my bird. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, it's weird, mate. She was looking at you. Yeah, well, yeah, just as soon as I came in, just weird. I yeah. was like, yeah, I got this one. Okay, this, this one's my bro. Yeah. <laughs> now the mas de mate, a bro, a dude. This is bruv. Bruv is como bro. Mucho slang, muy de calle, pero me encanta. Okay, <laughs> this one's my bro. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, mate. So, and how's that, how's that relation? How for how long have you guys been dating? About three months now, mate. I've 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 seen no red flags. Chunk touch wood, bro. I have seen no red flags. Touch wood. I have seen no red flags. No he visto banderas rojas todavía. Malas señales de la chica. Touch wood. Poca madera. Touch wood is an expression que significa esperemos que sea así. I've I've seen no red flags. Chunk touch wood, bro. Yeah. And then um, yeah, just. She's been spot on, mate. Like she wakes up six in the morning to clean the house before for me in the morning. Yeah, like it's just I know I know I'm not, not like I'm not like um like I'm not Andrew Tate, you know. I don't, girls do this, do that. But, yeah, yeah. But it's good, mate. You know, in the respect. Oh, I get what it. you mean. I I, I appreciate yeah. that too, mate. So much, mate. Yeah. Especially girls from probably Sweden, bro, yeah. England, bro. Oh my God, man. Yeah. You got to do everything for them. They do nothing. They sit at home on the phone, bro. Yeah, I mean, I I kind of like. I mean, I'm an entrepreneur. You're an entrepreneur. Exactly. So right, we're yeah. you know. Yeah. We're high performance people. We want to go after stuff. And exactly. so we like being the people who provide, exactly. right? We like being yeah, the providers. Yeah. So I think it makes sense for us to be here in this culture. Yeah, you're right, right? bro. It works perfect. Yeah. And the girls really appreciate it, man. Yeah. They're like you're working, baby. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the girls in Sweden, no, what are you doing? You're working. Do that with me. Yeah. 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 yeah it's complicated. Yeah. But it's not, yeah, but uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can, you can talk about when it comes to like where the girls are the best and, yeah. and, and whatnot. But yeah, so of course. so what has been your biggest challenge now here, living here, integrating Spanish, bro? It's the got, language. It's got to be the language, mate. Yeah. Um, it's got to be the language, mate. Tiene que ser el idioma, bro. Spanish, bro. It's the got, language. It's got to be the language, mate. Um, yeah. Super hard, mate. So, like, listen to my accent. I, I bet I'm from England, but we barely speak English. We've got so much slang and so it's just so mixed, man, with Jamaicans and everything. So. Yeah. 
it's it's so diverse. But um, what's your heritage? So my, my dad's actually from Pakistan and my mum's English. Okay. So I'm mixed. Yeah, I'm yeah. mixed. But I, I grew up my mum, so I always lived a pretty English culture life. You yeah. know? So no, I don't really like major religious or anything like that. No. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the language, so the Spanish. Yeah. Mate. But have you taken any courses or studied anything or just learning with your girlfriend? So I tried the, the normal stuff. Everybody does a Duolingo. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I did Duolingo too. Did you? I got hooked on it because I, <laughs> I wanted to unlock this flirting, yeah, yeah, this yeah. flirting package. <laughs> <laughs> mate, the fact, mate, it's it's pretty like um, enticing though. Like yeah. When the animations, rewards, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's it's it's. They make a really good job they do. at motivating you, I like inspiring it. you, and getting you hooked on the process, which is actually one of the hardest things to do. It is, yeah. So, stay in, in I mean, I can criticize Duolingo all all day for how they teach, yeah, uh, which is, in my opinion, not very optimal. Mm. But they do a really, really good job at getting mate. people hooked. You got XP, you got levels. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. got. Yeah, it's like a game. It's so, like a game, but yeah, yeah, I do like it. But then also, my, 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 after I was doing a bit of Duolingo, my friend sent me a, a PDF of a course he bought. But it was so boring, mate. Yeah. It's like PDF, you know, you got to type in on Microsoft Word the answers and stuff. Oh, no, no, no. Jesus, no. mate. No, no, It's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. I thought. It should always be a combination between listening and reading. Yeah, not just right. not just listening. Go engage him, man. Go engage him. So so now what, you are, what are you doing to learn? Like you're talking with your girlfriend. She's teaching you yeah. word, a few words yes. here and there. So so every day she goes, um, you, you like I have a whiteboard, whiteboard of all my you know, stuff on for the week, like my pipeline and stuff like that. And she writes some two new like uh, parablas. Is that, what, is that what you say? Parablas. Yeah. Um, every day she's like, and she comes in the room like randomly. What's what's this say? Uh, and she like hides them, bro. And she's like, what's this? What's this? What's that? I'm like, yeah, you hear him, Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So it's 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 good, mate. It's good. She's teaching me. Yeah. So she lives with you. Yeah, she lives with me now. Oh, she's right. Moved in yet? Yeah, she's moved in, mate. Yeah. So, yeah, good. Nice. Good. Kick her out soon, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I made the right decision, mate. Jesus. Yeah. No, but that's good, man. You're starting, you know, yeah. pick up a few things and then, you yeah. know, that's once you want to speed it up, you just go for something more serious, maybe. That's it, mate. Yeah. That's it. That's it, man. I'm just, just taking with the flow, mate. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, oh. Yeah. Oh, and the ladies. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, you got different priorities. That's it, man. I just focus on work, to be honest, man. That's yeah. just a byproduct, really. You know? Talk to me about your business in, in Spain. Yeah. What, so. You build houses. Yeah, so so we're basically a syndicated property fund. So um, I, what, what does that mean? It's in, in short term. It's basically um, we pull money together from investors yeah. and invest it into projects. Um, same things like a hedge fund investment stuff and yeah. whatnot. But we, we have a lot of links with the banks over there. So for example, we get houses before they even go to auction. Okay. And in Spain, um, there's obviously a lot of houses that go to auction, but we, we've got a link in with the bank, so it goes straight to us before the auction. We're getting like 40, 50% off. Yeah. Because the banks in Spain, I believe can only recoup the debt owed on the house. Yeah. So if somebody's just missed a couple payments and it's worth 10, 20 grand, you know, yeah. that's all they can sell the house off for. Oh, really? So we get like these houses really, really cheap. Yeah. And we've also got a few partners down there. Um, we've got, we're building 36 villas. We've got building Marriott Hotel in, in the UK. Um, and some river, nice riverside stuff. I'll send you some photos. Yeah. It's beautiful. Investment synergy, but website yeah. and stuff. Okay. Getting put up. Um, and Marbella is growing quite fast. Everyone wants to go there. It's wicked. So someone just told me yesterday from America, he's in New York. He said, mate, my friend just went to Marbella. He's saying it's like the new Miami. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, mate, it's, it's good. It's my, the Miami of Europe, basically. It basi mate, I lived there for a year. I loved it, man. Yeah. It's it's, it, it's probably the, the second best place here here and there is perfect, mate. Yeah. Because um, it's it's hot all year round. You've got, you know, you got the beach. Yeah. Um, you can go two hours and drive in the mountains and go skiing, bro. Yeah. It's got everything, man. Yeah. And it's classy. It's a bit classy. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's what it lacks a bit here. Yeah. The class, mate. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Nice. Yeah. I mean, there's a huge battle between people from Medellin and Bogota. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. And so, I mean, Medellin oh, has, has the weather, yeah. the, the beautiful accent, the beautiful girls, yeah. things like that, whereas Bogota is, you know, a bit more classy. Is it? Perhaps. I don't know. I, I, haven't, I haven't been there a lot. been there like twice or three times. But I like it. I mean, yeah. I like it because I like to go to nice restaurants. Yeah, I like to too. eat good. That's what I love. Yeah. That's that, That's my like, that's my, what gets me off, you know. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's my thing, bro. Not really going to party and, and do that stuff, but go to nice restaurants with your girl and just a, a couple of your friends, mate. That's, yeah. That, that's it for me. We'll, we'll do a trip to Bogota. Oh, for sure, man. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. Yeah. And especially me and you, we're from Europe, man, so we are a bit classy, you know? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> say that, bro. Yeah. Hey, I want to finish with a game. Let's do it, mate. All Let's right, it. it's a very simple game. Actually, okay. It's called this or that. This or and that. I just want you to respond very quickly without thinking, basically. Okay. All right. So, 
Cats or dogs? Dogs. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Sports or gym? Gym, mate. Hamburger or pizza? Ooh, hamburger. Got to get the meat and the protein in it. I love how you say it. I love how you say hamburger. <laughs> hamburger. Hamburger, mate. <laughs> Early bird or night owl? Wow, both, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's got to be both. You mate. don't sleep. I don't. I'm up till three in the morning, but I try and get up early, mate, as well. Yeah. Yeah, mate, sleeping is cheating, mate. You gotta, you gotta get it. You gotta get it, mate. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. Yeah, you, mate, you sleep, you die. When you die, you sleep, you know? Yeah. So you may as well get it, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's good. Colombia or the UK? Colombia, mate. Sorry, boys. Colum Colombia or Dubai? Colombia, mate. Yeah, Colombia. Latinas or Europeans? Latinas. Oh, that was, that was, you yeah, it, just said that mate. before you before you even heard the other <laughs> option. <laughs> yeah, that's it, mate. Latinas. Lat I think, uh, yeah, Latinas, mate. All right. Yeah. Predictability or what's the other? Unpredictability. <laughs> Is that a word? <laughs> <laughs> Predictability or spontaneity? Spontaneity, wow. I don't even know that one before, bro. Mm. Is it just like spontaneous? Similar? Yeah, I don't know if that's a word either. God knows. No, that is a word, I think. Um, Jesus, mate, we're gonna get slaughtered in the comments here, bro. Um, I, I'll probably say the other one, yeah. Yeah, I think being spontaneous. Spontaneous, yeah. I think I think fortune favors the brave, mate. You gotta you gotta be a bit crazy, you know. If you if you move like everyone else, you you'll have it like what everyone else has, you know. Yeah, exactly. For sure. Yeah, that's a really good answer. Yeah, for sure. Cali or Duolingo? Cali. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's gonna pay me that. For that one. <laughs> no, but you'll try the Spanish course and you will. You like it. You like it. I think I will, man. I think yeah. I will, yeah. Du Duolingo gets a bit annoying. It gets a bit boring, actually. Yeah. After a while, mate. Yeah. 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 I would like to hear your perspective if you have if you have an idea because <clears throat> I mean I love when foreigners try to talk my language. I it was really weird. I was in Cancun once on the beach and this girl came up to me and started talking to me in Swedish. Jesus, I'll let go. And that was that was fucking crazy. Really? Yeah. Does it sound weird. It, 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 yeah, it sounded weird. But I liked it. I mean, I smiled, laughed a little, yeah. but also but smiled more, you know? It yeah, was yeah. it was great. Of course. So, I was wondering like to all those people like I mean the Latinos that you've met here, I mean, so many of them want to learn English to improve their lives. They, do, they want yeah. to make more money. They want to travel. You know, they want to have have those uh, have those options in life, basically. Of course, mate. Like, yes. do you have any any tips for them or anything that you would say to them to kind of motivate them to go ahead and and go for it? And go for it. Just got to start. I think you just got to start. Yeah. Solo tienes que empezar. Es gran consejo. Y ya estás empezando porque estás escuchando eso. Así que ya has hecho la mitad del trabajo. Lo más difícil es empezar a estudiar inglés. Ya lo hiciste. Sigue consumiendo de esta forma y poco a poco estás mejorando tu inglés. Just got to start. I think you just got to start. Yeah. Don't think, ah, oh, I know, it's so difficult. You can't do it. Like five, six months ago, mate, if I try to say something to Spanish, I was like, Oh, la, it was so diff it's yeah. just horrible, mate, yeah. for me. Yeah. But now, like, I'm sentences just flow. I don't even think it's like, whoa. Yeah. And eventually, you get like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, th I think just start. Just don't even think. Just start. Just yeah. Go for it, mate. Yeah. Just start like watching videos and start doing stuff. That's it. That's to it. To get the momentum going. Basically. That's it. Exactly, yeah. mate. You got you. You know, you should need to start. You should need to start. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna. You're not gonna go nowhere if you don't start. Exactly. Exactly, mate. So. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. No Appreciate worries, it. Mate. No worries, man. Ok, felicidades, has hecho un gran trabajo siguiendo toda esa conversación, te felicito mucho. Ahora puedes rebobinar y volver a ver la conversación muchas veces, esto es buenísima práctica para tu escucha y tu oído en inglés. Y recuerda que tenemos una prueba de dos semanas de mi curso de inglés. Y en el curso enseño a través de historias interactivas, que es muy parecido a aprender a través de conversaciones. Súper efectivo, prefiero que lo pruebes antes de tomar una decisión. Y por eso tenemos una prueba de dos semanas. Puedes probar el curso por dos semanas enteras y por cualquier motivo, si no te gusta, tienes el 100% de tu dinero devuelto. Abajo en la descripción he puesto el enlace para la página de compra. y tienes toda la información, precio, planes de pagos, lo que contiene el curso, nuestras garantías, testimonios, resultados de otros estudiantes, Mejor dicho, todo. Así que aquí abajo en la descripción tienes el enlace. Cuídate muchísimo. Nunca te rindas en tu proceso para ser fluido en inglés. Así que nos vemos pronto.